Welcome back, folks. Uh, I think we need to upgrade some of these trains because we're just not getting enough oil. And if we take a look, so we have a rate of 473 here. And on this line here, we have a rate of 537, which I think needs to be upgraded as well. Uh, what train do we have on here? We have the 282 Mikado. Um, Alright. So, let's say manage vehicle. And let's try replacing. You are way, way, way more powerful and you can go faster. So... Let's try this. Uh, so you can hold 12. So 10 would be 120. 15 would be 180. Like that. And it's still good. That's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's 240. 40, what, what's the length? 269 meters. Can we go up to 320? 281, 293, 305, 316. It's still good. Let's replace. All right. Then this is going to cost some money. A lot of money. Uh, but it's fine. Uh, let's manage this vehicle this is also the Mikado so replace and we will go for the same kind of layout uh, cargo the tank cars and go up to 316 meters replace that's over a hundred million we just spent Let's uh, let's play the game, uh, and we want to change these as well because uh, we don't want the slower trains slowing down the other ones. So and this will be this one as well, but it will be the uh, box car. What's the baggage car? has a capacity of 13 to 25 what the heck does that mean uh, it can carry goods this can carry goods let's just go with the box car shall we a bunch of new vehicles uh, Douglas DC3 Zurich uh, Hiawatha Opal Blitzes Streamline Coaches very nice 316 replace that leaves us with 1.4 million <laughs> but I think it's worth it I think it's worth it all right now are you gonna get out of the way before you reach there I really hope so. We don't have to stop again. No, you didn't. Man, that sucks. Get out of the way! Uh, this is the Mikado as well. So we need to replace those two. Uh... With... Definitely with uh, 9,000. And cargo. Box car. Let's go up to 316 meters. It'll cost us 41 million. We have two. 
So it'll be a little while until we can do that. Alright, we have five. Alright, I guess we'll have to wait a little bit before we can do this. That's okay, I guess. You bring 89. I mean, we have more than enough steel here. It's, that's not a problem. How much did you get on board? 90? Okay. So you have quite a bit stored. It should get better. Okay, we have... Man, are we actually losing money right now? Nah, it's just because we, we spent 167 million. That's a big investment, you might say. Alright. So, what's next? I am thinking that I want to hook up Temecula to Green Bay and Memphis. I want to get this kind of spine of the world railroad, railroad done. And maybe do some cargo stuff up here if I can find something that is good to do. So we have Stamford here that requires construction materials. We can make construction materials right here. And we can make it from slag. Which we can produce here. Or here. If we can get some iron and coal there. So there's iron right there. And there's iron there. There's coal there. And that would mean that we could maybe make tools? If there is a tool factory somewhere. Doesn't look like it though, does it? Well, there's one over here, but that's from wood only. best idea I've had. Alright, so we have grain into uh, into beef here, or livestock. Do we, and we have grain right there. Do we have a butchery somewhere? We do up there in West Valley. Then we could ship it down here to make food at Mesquite. And Alan McAllen needs food. Kerry needs food. Tulsa needs food. Concord needs food. So that might be an idea. So let's see. This is one to one. And then this is one to one and then this is one to two but well, that might not be a bad idea that might not be a bad idea okay 
And it doesn't feel like we're making that much money, does it? Yeah. We effectively just made 11 million. That's not a lot. Huh. So there's a lot of guys that want food up here. And we can make food up here. So that could be an idea. That could be an idea. don't mind that. I really don't. Uh, let's take a look at our lines while we wait for some money to generate and see how they're doing. Alright, so Fayetteville food to Murrieta and Santa Rosa is not doing well. Murrieta to Macula commuter isn't doing that great. Joliet port oil to plastic isn't doing great. Probably plastic to goods isn't doing great. Uh, El Paso fuel to Marietta and Santa Rosa isn't doing great. Joliet goods to El Paso shipping isn't doing that great. Hylia crude to oil isn't doing that great. Provo Frisco commuter isn't doing that great. What is doing great? Joliet iron ore to steel, El Paso oil to fuel to harbor, and so Rosa crude. We do have some very, very expensive lines running that are not making a lot of money right now. Well, they're expensive because they're losing money and not making it. Um, 47 crude sitting here. Uh, how much fuel are you coming in with? 32. Why are you only coming in with 32 fuel? And you only with 56. Is it all going over to Roseville? It seems quite like it might be. Seems like it might be. That kind of sucks. That kind of really sucks. Don't really know what to do about that. I don't really know what to do about that. Because, I mean, it needs a lot of fuel. Well, these trains, what are they? They are Baldwins. Okay. And you are kind of producing as much as you can. There wouldn't happen to be another... And how much are you guys sailing with? 10170. And you are producing at max capacity. You can't get up to max capacity. You can only do the 600 that you're doing. Because you need two to one. You can get up to 800, so we could potentially get some fuel going over this way and then or this way and then or up to this station or some crude I, I should say it might not be a bad idea getting crude going up here We're just not producing enough. 
We are just not producing enough. How much did you get? 31. 23. El Paso, of course, is using a lot of fuel as well. So that's 117. That's 200 and something. So yeah. We might have to get this crew going over here. That just might have to be the case. How much are you getting? 59 oil on you. You're coming in with 40. This thing is freaking full. You're coming in with 45. You're only getting one zero two why aren't you producing more food for us we have a production of 600 what is your rate 536 There is crude gathering there. Let's get another 15 vehicles on this. Clone. All right. Hopefully that'll help. Well, that you get up to a higher production level. Be really nice. We're getting 41 oil. Why? And there's Okay, so that's, yeah, I suppose it's reasonable. I suppose it's reasonable. 489 passengers waiting there go to either Olaith or Provo. There's quite a few waiting there as well. I'm here for the Murrieta, just 29. How many trains do I have on this? Two. We might have to get another one. Let's do it. Let's do it. How many people do Maria have? 448. What is our biggest town now? Size. Roseville, 655. Columbia, 574. Hialeah. The Paso, a little bit Marietta. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. Oh, one cool thing. Uh, if we take a look at Olaith here, in the update, there's now suppliers. Who, who can supply stuff for you? But it's only showing the things that are shown there. So it's not showing for the modded stuff. Which is a shame, but it's to be expected with a new update. It'll take a little time for the mods to be updated. So it's fine. We uh, have some goods sitting here. You're coming in to pick up some plastic. How much are you picking up? 107. You're coming in with 83 oil. How much oil do you have? 363. Just 
so um, our food trains here have I restricted them from grabbing no from grabbing uh, goods so there are some goods sitting there waiting and then we have our ship here doing goods but it didn't get any Now we need to get the goods from here up to the train station and then over here because you need goods as well and that will get the production going a bit more I think that we have more towns that need it uh, do you want goods yes you do actually Hmm. I'm considering making Santa Rosa here kind of a cargo hub. Where we can send cargo down the line. It might be kind of nice. And we'll, of course, need for here and for here we'll need new cargo stations or we could make every second city kind of a cargo hub and have trucks going out that could also be a thing I'm not really sure what i want to do with this you if you have ideas for how to to do this let me know because I'm sure someone has better ideas than I do. But it could be kind of cool to make, like, turn Santa Rosa into a cargo hub and then have trucks traveling from Santa Rosa to Murrieta and Hialeah, for instance. And then turn maybe Sunnyvale into a cargo hub and trucks would go to Columbia and Minneapolis. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Why are you sitting on so many goods? No, you're not. 35. These trains need to be upgraded too. What kind of trains do we have on here? Oh, we have the general. No, the mogul. Jeez. We have a lot of trains that need to be upgraded. A lot of trains. But that's okay. We are making money, though not that much at the moment. Made 11 million. Huh. Oh. 5 million. We made 9 million and we lost 13 because we spent 8. We actually lost 5. It's not good right now, economy wise. It was so good. Not so bad. So bad. You're running empty. You are running 80 food and 16. Goods. You're coming down with 75. You're coming down with nothing. You're coming down with 101. And there is 47 sitting here waiting. You'll be coming in with 48. You're full, of course. 55 56 45 Is it me or is this just stuck where it is? It isn't getting any better at all. Hmm. 
I mean, it hasn't moved an inch. What are you producing? 600. What's the shipment? What's the problem? 258. So it's shipping 258 over there, and we have 100% transport. Okay. You are... Getting 943 from Santa Rosa oil well, and 257 from Hialeah. Shipping 300, 100%. Why are we only shipping 300? Where's the plastic factory? So Hialeah oil refinery, 300. And Provo Goods is only consuming 200. And that's because we only need around 200. So that's the problem. Why is there not... Why is El Paso not there? Did I not buy trucks for this route? No, I didn't. Okay, that might be part of the problem. Uh, so, you... Who needs what here? Um, cargo... So we want this to come up here, but I mean, you're still covering some that want. Did I? I didn't even make a line for it. Did I? A new line from there to there. Uh, what is it? It's. Goods, so it's Provo Goods. Provo Goods. No, it's uh, El Paso Harbor Goods 2. El Paso. Alright, let's buy buy vehicles. We'll buy the opals, I guess. Uh, and we'll buy three of them. And we'll make you... I think it's this color, but I'm not sure. So, El Paso Harbor goes to El Paso. Okay. That is a very old truck that we have there. But it seems to be working fine for now, so I don't really care. How much fuel did you get? Three. So does this mean that you now see... You don't see El Paso as a consumer, which I don't get. Mm. So in Joliet Port... Oh! You need to be loading goods. There we go. That's a problem, isn't it? Uh, 
All right. Does that mean that you will start seeing El Paso as a consumer? Yes. Okay. So that should hopefully get things going a bit better. And then I think what we'll do is get these trucks going to there and then up to the station here. Let's just get this upgraded. Okay. All right, so there's a reasonable explanation to why I, uh, El Paso wasn't getting any goods. And while, why this line maybe wasn't doing as well as it should have been. So now El Paso is there, 44. Roseville is, yeah, that's not being shipped. And that makes sense because it's just sitting here. It feels like there's more coming. Uh, this line. Uh, you do not in Joliet Port. You unload food and that's it. You don't load anything. You can unload whatever you want. Don't really care. Because we're trying, we're taking food down here, right? Are you? We have food sitting here waiting. Twenty-five. Hundred and ten. Okay. So that's better. And then we just need a train on here. Just carrying food over there. Or goods over there. And maybe carrying food back here. Because you want food now too, don't you? Yeah. So that wouldn't be a bad deal. That would actually be a pretty good deal. Alright. So let's... Uh, El Paso... Ooh, nice. Baltimore and Ohio. Nice. Nice. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, El Paso. Harbor goods to El Paso. Uh, to Train. And after Franklin Street, we'll add you. And then you can actually stop on Franklin Street again. And we will add a terminal here. And we'll tell you to be terminal 2. Okay. And I think, uh, let's double the number of vehicles on there. And then we'll set up a new line. 
going from here to here. Which actually means that we need a new platform. Doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of does. Kind of does. Uh, we'll live with this for now. And we will... Train to what did we have on this? It's a mogul. Uh, buy vehicles, steam. The mogul is way old. So you can carry 18 at 120. You can carry 12 at 80. So let's just add you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 maybe. To be honest, it really doesn't need to be... Could be the Mikado. It's mediocre. That's okay. Are you? Uh, it's line one. It's this color, I think. And line one needs to be renamed. Two. Uh, Provo. No. Uh, El Paso. Goods. And Roseville. Wait. El Paso Goods to Roseville and Roseville food to El Paso which we can't do let's just do Ross Ross don't know about this naming convention. I really suck at naming conventions. If you have a better idea for a naming convention, I would appreciate it. All right, so now maybe we'll start getting some food coming down this way. We should anyway. You're bringing 196 food. You're bringing 98 beans. There isn't anything sitting here yet. Is that because these trucks, do they have limitations on them? No. Maybe uh, food. I'm just basically here. So it should be fine. The four eight 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 four quintuplex is here. It's not a good train. 
But do you now see Roseville as a consumer? Yes, you do. Okay. So this should get everything up. Hopefully. Twenty-eight sitting there. How much are you bringing down? Sixty. Okay. Nine sitting there. There's nothing sitting there. You're bringing down ten freaking food. Ten. Nothing. Hundred. All right. I think it's. Time to spend a bit of time on upgrading our stuff. Because these trains just aren't cutting it. We could be making so much more money. If we upgraded them. 75 fuel. 48 food. Okay, you did get food over here. Well, that's good. Where's their oil sitting here? Uh, or El Paso. You can't load anything. Okay, so it's taking the food down to the train. But the train, uh, or the, the harbor, but the harbor can't load anything, so it's all for El Paso. That's fine. Alright, but anyway, we are out of time. So we'll have to continue on in the next one. Hopefully get our trains here upgraded. I might let time run just a little bit so we get some money to work with. Because these trains are slowing down these trains, which we really don't want. About 67. Oh, yeah, it is uh, upping its production now. Good, 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 good. All right, that'll, that'll help some. That'll help some. We could get some going to Olath as well. Could buy a truck, I guess. Eh, we'll have to look at it. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.